Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at linear inequalities. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so not all algebraic statements involve the equal to sign and it is just as important to be able to handle algebraic inequalities as it is to be able to uh, solve algebraic equation. Now, algebraic inequalities involve the inequality sign that is uh, greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to now we also to note that the solution for an inequality is a range of possible values and not a specific a specific value as in the case of uh, linear equations now let's have a look at a typical example of a linear inequality so let's say we have 5x minus 3 is less or equal to 2x minus 15 so this is a typical example of a linear inequality because of the inequality sign that we are having over here so now let's try and find the possible values of x that can satisfy this uh, expression that we have over here right so solving linear inequality is just the same as solving linear equations but there is a catch to it now, whenever you multiply through a linear inequality by a negative or you divide by a negative, the sign of the inequality has to change. I'll be showing you what I mean by that. So just like the way we solve linear equations, we are going to first of all group like terms over here because we have 5x here, we have 2x over here. So in this case, let me say this is case 1. Let's say I decide to maintain the 5x over here in the case 1 and send the 2x to the... Uh, left side of the equation so i have 5x over here minus 2x less or equal to minus 15 then i send the negative 3 to the other side of the inequality it becomes plus 3 so from here 5x minus 3 uh, minus 2x will give me 3x i have my inequality sign minus 15 plus 3 will give me minus 12 so i divide both sides by 3 and by 3 so my x will be less or equal to negative 4. So this becomes my solution for this particular example. So it means my x is less or equal to negative 4. So it is negative 4 or less, but not greater than negative 4. So your answer will not be negative 3, will not be negative 2, it will not be 0, it will not be 1, but anything negative 4 or less. Right, so let's look at case 2, the case number 2. Now, in this case, I would want to, okay, send 5x to the other side of the equation inequality. So, I have 5x minus 3 less or equal to 2x minus 15. So, let's say I decided to move the 5x to the other side. So, I'm going to have minus 3 here. Then, I send the negative, negative 15 to the other side of the inequality. It becomes plus 15. Then, less or equal to 2x then I send the uh, positive 5 to the other side, it becomes negative 5x. So I have over here, negative 3 plus 15 will give me 12. And this is less or equal to, Man positive 2 minus 5x will give me negative 3x. Now, I divide both sides by negative 3, negative 3. So this cancels this. Now, the moment I divide by negative, the sign has to change. So it means that my answer here will be 12 divided by negative 3 will give me negative 4. So I have negative 4. Then because I divided by negative, the sign will change. So it becomes greater or equal to, greater or equal to. Then I have my x over here. Okay, so I can rewrite this equation by bringing x here and then negative 4 here. So if I do that, I'm going to have x is less or equal to negative 4. So this becomes my answer. Now we need to know that over here, the inequality sign is facing negative 4. So if you are changing the position of the variables, it should also follow like that. Because over here we are saying negative 4 is greater or equal to x. Is greater or equal to x it means that over here s is less or equal to negative 4 it's also still the same thing so this 
is our answer as we can see so it is the same as what we have in the first method but in the second case because we are dividing true by negative we need to make sure that we change the position of the sign okay so you can leave your answer as this is still correct but if you want to rewrite it and bring s first make sure you you have the inequality facing the number all right so let's have a look at other examples so we have to solve the following inequalities so we have i 5a plus 6 is greater than 2a plus 24 then we have ii 3b minus 5 is less or equal to b minus 1 then iii we have 4 into bracket c minus 1 greater than 3 into bracket c minus 2 and then iv we have d minus 3 into bracket d plus 2 greater or equal to 2 into bracket 1 plus 2 d all right so let's go ahead and find the solution for these inequalities so i write down my solution i i have 5a plus 6 greater than 2a plus 24 okay so i decided to maintain the 5a here and send the 2a to the other side so i have here 5a minus 2a greater than then i maintain the 24 here and i bring the 6 to the other side it becomes it becomes minus 6. so from here 5a minus 2a will give me 3a greater than 24 minus 6 will give me 18. so i divide both sides by 3 both sides by 3 this cancels this so a is greater than because i did not divide through by negative the sign still remains greater than so 18 divided by 3 will give me 6 so it means that my answer okay or the values of a that satisfy this equation are all greater than 6 so from maybe 6.1 6.2 6.3 6.4 or 7 8 9 10 all those set of values from 7 above to infinity they all satisfy this equation all right let's look at ii we have 3b minus 5 is less or equal to b minus 1 all right so i'm going to maintain my 3b here and i send the b to the other side so it becomes minus b here then i have my negative one here i send the negative 5 to the other side it becomes positive 5 so over here i have 2b less or equal to negative 1 plus 5 will give me 4 so i divide both sides by 2 by 2 so my b is less or equal to 4 on 2 will give me 2 so this becomes my answer for the second expression so let's look at i i i i have here 4 4 into bracket c minus 1 greater than 3 into bracket c minus 2 okay so before we go ahead and do any rearrangement we need to first expand the brackets so 4 multiplied by c will give me 4c 4 multiplied by negative 1 will give me negative 4 greater than 3 multiplied by c will give me 3c 3 multiplied by negative 2 will give me negative 6 All right over here i maintain my 4c here i bring the 3c to the other side it becomes minus 3c greater than minus 6 then I send the negative 4 to the other side of the inequality, it becomes plus 4. So I have over here 4c minus 3c will give me c, and this is greater than negative 6 plus 4 will give me negative 2. So this becomes my solution for the third inequality. Alright, so let's go ahead and solve the last inequality that we have over here. So we have d into bracket, sorry. We have d minus 3, okay, so let's do that, let me, okay, so it is d minus 3 into bracket d plus 2 greater or equal to 2 into bracket 1 plus 2d. Alright, so from here, I maintain my d, I expand this bracket, I have minus 3d here, then minus negative 3 multiplied by 2 give me minus 6 greater or equal to. 2 multiplied by 1 will give me 2 plus 2 multiplied by 2d 
will give me a 4d so over here i have d minus 3d will give me 2d minus 6 greater or equal to 2 plus 4d okay so over here i maintain my 2d over here so i have 2d here and i send the 4 to the other side becomes minus 4d this is greater or equal to 2 i send the negative 6 to the other side becomes plus 6 so i have over here negative 2d minus 4d will give me negative 6d greater or equal to 2 plus 6 will give me 8 now i'm dividing by negative 6 to make this standard of negative 6 so therefore it means my sign has to change so i have d now the sign will be what less or equal to 8 on 6 will give me negative 4 on 3 okay so this becomes my solution now if i want to write the negative 4 on 3 first it means if i do negative 4 on 3 then i have to change the sign from less or equal to the sign has to face this guy again before i write the d so this or this are the same but it's always preferred if you write your unknown quantity or your variable on the left hand side and then your answer on the right hand side so you can leave it like this without changing it like this but either way this and this are all still correct so thank you so much for watching this linear inequality video and in the next video we'll be looking at uh, quadratic inequalities and how to solve quadratic inequalities so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye